Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So let me. So now he discusses the uh, value of pi uh, determined by inscribing polygons in a solid. You know, sides of poly sorry, sides of polygons in inscribed in a circle. He so <coughs> so tri tri dvankagni navaschandrahi tribhanaastha yogaastha bhi vedagni panchaka Ashwaisha Kaka Brabra Rasaihi Kramat Shailai Rutu Nakabanaisha Vidbi Nandeshu Sagarehi Triveda Dashavaidesha Rutavyase Samahate Hakakabra Arka Sambakte Labhyante Kramasho Bujaha Rutta Tatriasta Purvanam Davantanam Prutak Prutak. So he is giving the sites of triangle, um, square. Pentagon, hexagon, etc., inscribed in a circle. So, for instance, if you take the <coughs> a triangle inscribed in a circle, so you take the 1, 0, 3, 9, 2, 3, multiply by the diameter of the circle and divide by this, then the quotient will be the side of the triangle. Similarly, for other things. So, so what actually the exact result is the following. Suppose a polygon of n sides is inscribed in a circle like this. So, then clearly it is interior angle AOB, it is called interior angle, you see. So, then that is 2 pi by n, right, because the 360 degrees 2 pi. So, divided by n, each of these angles is 2 pi by n. So, this half angle, this half angle will be pi by n. So, the side of the po polygon is twice a d and a d itself is r into sin pi by n, the half angle is pi by n. So, a b is 2 r into sin pi by n. So, side of a regular n sided polygon inscribed in a circle is diameter into sin pi by n. So, if in you have n is equal to 3, the triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, septagon or heptagon, octagon or nonagon. So, then the value that Bhaskara gives is the following, right. He said 1 0 3 9 2 3 divided by 1 2 0 0 0 0, 8 4 8 5 3 by 1 2 0 etcetera, right. So, these are the things Bhaskara. So, from this you can uh, we can put it in the decimal form like this, we can do it and the modern value is this, modern value using you know I gave you the 2 r sin pi by n. So, it is very accurate very accurate kind of a values. Of course, the other way also is possible that that is what Ganesha Devagna had done right from the side of the polygon to get the value of the circumference by diameter. Okay. So, then this is one, uh, one result in Leelavati which is related to trigonometry. So, chord of a circle. So, this is in a circle, chord in a circle. So, this is your R K B. So, corresponding to that is chord A B. So, he gives the result for the uh, chord in the following manner. Chapona, O Chapona Nigni Paridhi Pratama Vaya Swasyat, Pancha Hataha, Paridhi Varga Chaturta Bhagaha, Adyoni Tena, Kalu Tena, Baje Chaturgna. Vyasa Hatam Pratama Mapta Miha Jaka Syat. So, what he is trying to say is that circumference less the arc being multiplied by the arc, the product is found first from the quarter of the square of the circumference multiplied by phi, etcetera. So, what he is saying is that this chord A B is 4 into the diameter into, into circumference minus arc A B into R K B divided by 5 by 4 into circumference square minus circumference minus R K B into R K B. So, now this is the result, the very important result. So, I will comment upon that. 
in the following. So, what are you having? We better write the figure on the board also. So, this is your A B. Suppose, uh, so this is your diameter. Okay. So, we call this as C. So, this need not be of course, it can be small or large you see, but it should be within this semi circumference. So, see let me put it like this. So, this angle is let us say uh, so theta, so then this angle sorry, this angle is 90 minus theta by 2 clearly. Right, yeah. So, I need this. Okay. So, now arc A B plus arc C A. So, that is the semi circumference, right? C by 2. So, then arc A B itself is C by 2 minus arc C A. The arc A B is arc uh, semi circumference minus arc C A. So, circumference minus a or k b is this c minus c by 2 minus arc c a. So, c by 2 plus arc c a. So, <coughs> circumference minus or so you will get these things. So, finally, called a b, I mean according to if this is the stated result, it will be 8 r into half c squared minus arc c a whole squared, etcetera. So, arc c a is uh, r theta, you see arc c a theta these angles suppose you call it as theta. So, arc c a is clearly or this is r into theta. So, that is this arc c a and c by 2 is pi into r. So, cod a b is I mean in the modern notation um, 8 r into pi squared minus theta squared divided by 4 pi squared plus theta square. <coughs> And so, this I can write as 2 r into. So, this is what it reduces to. So, what he is stating, of course, is you know, cord a b is like this, whereas what uh, we get is you know, in the modern notation will be like this. Okay. Then now, cord a b, cord a b is clearly so, this is <coughs> uh, this is r is clearly 2 r sin of 90 minus theta by 2 right. So, a b is equal to 2 r sin of 90 minus theta by 2. So, is equal to 2 r cos theta by 2. I am working with Bhaskara, Bhaskara 2 result to arrive at something. So, what it amounts to is that cos theta by 2 so, cord AB the formula is given is 4 pi squared minus 4 theta squared divided by 4 pi squared plus theta squared. So, that is cos theta by 2 is pi squared minus theta squared by pi squared plus theta squared by 4. So, these values were all theta. So, if you write instead of theta by 2 you write theta. So, cos theta will be pi squared instead of theta I have to write 2 theta. So, pi squared minus 4 theta squared by pi squared plus theta squared. So, sin theta is cos of pi by 2 minus theta. So, you substitute that. So, what you get is 4 into pi minus theta into theta by 5 by 4 pi squared minus pi minus theta into theta. Okay. So, this is I mean of course, I have not derived this result. I have only expressed whatever Bhaskara has said in this uh, form. Okay. I have reduced it to this. Why did I do it? Because I wanted to compare it with the expression given by Bhaskara 1 way back in 7th century, Bhaskara 1, Bhaskara Acharya 1, um, commentator, a very great commentator of Aryabhata, as well as he has done many other many works of his own, composed of works of his own, Mahabhaskariya and Logo Bhaskariya, apart from his you know great Aryabhatiya Bhashya. So, he has given this remarkable expression for sin theta by Bhaskara 1 in 7th century. And what is remarkable about this is that you know it is just you know it is given as a ratio of this to uh, polynomials in theta and it is 
throughout the range 0 to 90 degrees this is correct zero is you know is accurate up to about 1 percent or so so th that is you know very because sin theta is very close to theta when theta is very small so similarly for you know theta of close to 90 we can get something you see but uh, for it to be uh, you know very good for throughout the range so that is very very um, remarkable and uh, he has just so bhaskara 2 has really restated the, the result due to bhaskara 1 in a slightly different language okay so then again <coughs> this is about uh, the plane figures and now he goes to solids excavation and contents of solids so to get the volume the average volume is taken as average length into average breadth into average depth so find average length average breadth average depth so volume is the product of this and the rule for finding volumes of objects we do not have cross section or given in verse 211 mukaja chalaja tad dutija kshetra palaikyam hrutam shedbihi kshetra palam samamevam veda gunam ghana palam spashtam samakhata palas tremsha tremsha suchi khate phalam bhavati so this is again the volume of a frustrum or a tank whatever it is which is which has a tapering cross section so he is given that the aggregate of the areas at the top and bottom and of that result from the sum of the sides of the summit and base being divided by 6 the quotient is the main mean area that multiplied by the depth in the neat is the neat content not in is the neat content a third part of the content of the regular equal solid is the content of the actual one so what he is saying is amounts to the wall suppose you have a tank like this so upper part is you know a square of you know rectangle of side a and b the bottom part is a rectangle of side c and d so if the depth is z and you are assuming that it is tapering uniformly so then in that case volume is 1 by 6 into z into a b plus c d plus a plus b into c plus d similarly he stated that volume of a pyramid or cone is one third area of base into height so this is as a had uh, when I had mentioned it to him and had giving the talk on Brahma Putta Siddha, Brahma Putta Siddhanta. So, it is written the result is given there also. See, so, he is just stating the well known result in Indian mathematics at that time. So, then chapter 8 is in stacks, which is straightforward. I mean, stacks of layers of things. So, the volume is area into height, and if you are building it bricks, then the number of bricks is volume divided by volume of one brick and number of lay layers is height of one stack by height of one brick because these are all important for wage calculation and so on. Similarly, chapter 9 is on sawing, so volume with a trapezoidal cross section, suppose the cross section is trape trapezium with base B, uh, base B summit S and height, height uh, P, then area is half of B plus S into P and uh, we had seen that, right. If it had Again, Brahma's Putta Siddhanta itself has this result. Suppose this is B, this thing, this is S. So, this is H and this is the volume. Okay. So, then, so this is the area of cross section is B plus S divided by 2 into H or P, uh, uh, sorry, B plus H, sorry, there is one. Uh, area is uh, sorry this is p he calls it as p here call it as p here so the area is b plus s by 2 into p and then uh, so suppose you are you know having this kind of volume and in sawing it at various places you know cutting it so total sawing in area is area of the section into number of sections so because the carpenters wages etc are calculated based on how much he has sawn right so how many uh, cross sections he has cut so this is so these all come in vyavahara ganita as i told it is you know in the earlier text also and these are standard topics you know volumes stacks and things like that so then he talks about calculations pertaining to pertaining to mounds of grain suppose uh, a mound of grain is in a, a conical uh, conical figure is there so, in the volume of the this thing is 
we know that this is it one third the area of this base area into height. So, this can be expressed as circumference whole squared by h into <coughs> divided by 12 pi and it appears that Bhaskara gives an approximate expression for the volume by taking pi approximately equal to 3 because volume he, he the expression for volume he gives in Leelavati is circumference by 6 whole squared into h. So, that is what is stated of course, in his commentary Ganesha Devagna state that this rough calculation in which the diameter is taken at one third of the circumference. So, greater precision by taking a more nearly correct proportion between circumference and diameter. So, this is you know for uh, easier calculation you are just taking the value of pi to be 3. So, similarly you have different configurations you know the grains which are you know uh, again the side of a wall. So, only half of the circumference comes into the picture. So, then uh, the grains uh, stocked in a in a as you think you know conical manner at the side you know at the corner only you are uh, doing or uh, outer corner you doing you know. So, that is three fourths of this uh, uh, thing circumference you are covering. So, for that also volume is given it is given the uh, this uh, expressions are given. So, again essentially this circumference by diameter approximately equal to 3 is uh, taken ok. So, then <coughs> the shadow of a gnome and all that also we had seen uh, earlier works invariably discuss these uh, shadow problems. So, here he is given a little little more advanced little advanced pro uh, uh, problem. So, what he is uh, saying is that there is a gnomon shanku whose height is 12. So, its shadow is x at some time and x plus a at some other time. So, similarly then this uh, karana the hypotenuse is y at the time when the shadow is x and y plus b at the time when the shadow is x plus a. So, then you are given only a and b that is the difference in shadows and different in hypotenuse. So, then you have to find the shadow and the hypotenuse. So, the solution is given here in this verse chaya yoho karna yoho antare ye tayoho varga vishlesha bhakta rasadri shavaha saikal abdehe padagnantu karnantaram bantarena bantarena una yuktam dalestaha prabhe. The number 576 being divided by the difference of the squares of the difference of both shadows and of the two hypotenuses and the quotient being added to one the difference of the hypotenuses is multiplied with the square root of that sum and the product being added to subtracted and subtracted from the difference of the shadows. So, the halves of the sum and differences of the shadows. So, again if you write the expressions it will be clearer. So, essentially you are having this right. The two shadows at two different times is there. So, this is 12. So, this is x, this is x plus a. So, this is y, this is y plus b. So, in that case, clearly y squared minus a is x squared is 12 squared, and also y plus b whole squared minus x plus a whole squared is also that. So, you get b y is equal to a x plus a squared minus b squared, and so on. So, finally, Y is, uh, so, y is given in terms of x basically by this equation ok. So, then you substitute back here. So, finally you get an expression for a like this x a quadratic equation for x. So, you have got x squared plus a x into this is equal to 0. So, you can solve it and uh, as I uh, mentioned only the positive rule is uh, root is taken. So, x will be this and x plus a is this ok. Now, the standard results on shadows in uh, Lilavati again we know that um, if there is a gnomon, so then the shadow is caused due to the lamp here ok. So, then the shadow d e is c d into b d divided by a b minus c d ok. 
so this is the stated expression for the shadow so this we have seen you know it can be applied to eclipses and other things right so for instance in the lunar eclipse so this will be the earth's the radius this will be the sun's radius and this will be the place where the shadow is you know tapering to uh, zero so then i mean the shadow tip so then the expression for that is there and you have to do a little more to find the shadow at the place where uh, moon is moon's orbit is there okay then shadow at two locations so i don't have to go into too much into details of this because this also has been done earlier by in both in ganita sara sangraha as well as in brahma sputa siddhanta even earlier so then <coughs> he after discussing these things all these are of course sir the crucial use is made of the similarity of triangles to get all these results so then uh, baskara talks about the importance of rule of 3 he says that in arriving at all these results similarity of triangles which is essentially the rule of 3 is used so baskara stresses the all pervading nature of the rule of 3 at the end of the chapter so he says that as the being who relieves the minds of his worshipers from suffering and who is the sole cause of the production of this universe pervades the whole and does so with his various manifestations as worlds paradises mountains rivers gods demons men trees and cities so is all this collection of instructions for computations pervaded by the rule of three terms so he is really you know uh, very strongly and he is almost emotional about it yat kinchit gunabhaga hara vidina bijetra va ganyate tat trairashika meva nirmala diya meva va gamya vibhaja etad yat bahudas smat adi yat dhi buddhi pravuddai budaihi that bedanu gaman vidhaya rachitam pragnahi prakirnadikam so like that whatever is computed either in algebra or the arithmetic by the means of a multiplier and a divisor may be comprehended by the sagacious learned by the rule of three terms yet has it been composed by the wise instructors in miscellaneous and other manifold rules teaching its easy variations thinking thereby to increase the intelligence of such full comprehensions as ours of course baskara is very good at you know using words you know he will use it to the maximum effect in all his works so this is and in fact um, this rule of 3 is uh, actually when is astronomy you know that is where you know he is really baskara in his siddhanta uh, <coughs> shuromani uh, in the triprashna adhikara the shadow problem there is a normally a chapter on the shadows and you know measuring time and various things Uh, declination and uh, longitude of sun etc from shadows so the normally there is a big chapter on that in indian astronomy text so really is given uh, very cleverly he used uh, the rule of proportions at various points you know and sometimes where it is not expected also you know one way one doesn't expect i'll give you some example to consider for instance the sun is moving on the ecliptic which is inclined to the equator so they are inclined by the two circles are inclined by an amount uh, equal to the oblique which is the ecliptic now for instance suppose the sun's decline the uh, longitude is lambda the declination is uh, one has to find out actually declination is not proportional to lambda but sine of declination is proportional to sine of lambda so in astronomy at many places the signs are proportional and not the uh, original quantities themselves so now these apply to another problem so now this projection of this longitude on the equator see the equator and this is the ecliptic so projection of this on the equator that is called a right ascension it is denoted by the symbol alpha so right ascension so now the time is essentially related to the right ascension now there is what is known as the equation of time i don't want to get technical there is an equation of time which comes in astronomy 
and that is essentially the equation of time one part of it is lambda minus alpha. So, this is a part of equation of time which uh, determines when the sun is uh, transiting the meridian. So, now this is this thing now lambda is equal to alpha at uh, this point. Okay. So, lambda and alpha both are 0 and here at this point lambda and alpha are both 90 degrees. So, now this equation of time is expected to be 0 here and 0 there of this part at least. So, in, in between what do we do? So, Bhaskara cleverly says that the delta is proportional to sin of 2 lambda. So, that is it is maximum at uh, lambda is equal to 45 degrees and then of course, he will uh, get the proportionality constant also in an ingenious manner. So, this is the so you have to um, use this proportionality you know the rule of proportion appropriately and sometimes guess it also and in this case the guess is reasonably accurate and rule of 3 is important in that you know. So, this proportional to that kind of a thing. So, one can say that he had a sense of proportions. <laughs> okay. So, then the results are in chapter 13 and combination of digits. So, uh, let a number be composed of n digits d 1 to d n. So, verse 267 tells us the sum of all the numbers which have these digits including all the possible permutations. We see we had seen that you know this uh, combinatorics and all that are given even earlier in Chandas, but in the modern form this is n into n minus 1 etcetera divided by 1 into 2 that are given by Mahavira and Bhaskar also stated this <coughs> earlier in Leelavati. So, now he is saying, but sum of all the numbers suppose you have this d n. So, you take all the permutations these are the digits. Okay. You take all the permutations and then you get all those numbers and then sum of all of them what is that sum. So, that is how he, what he is talking about this is the first time such a thing is discussed. So, the product of multiplication of the arithmetical series beginning and increasing by unity and continue to the number of places will be the variations of the number with specific figures that divided by the number of digits and multiplied by the sum of digits being repeated in the places of figures and added together will be the sum of permutations. So, sum of all the numbers generated by these permutations. So, that is uh, what is given in this verse. So, the let, let the digits be d 1 to d n. So, number of ways of arranging we already seen that it is you know 1 to 2 etcetera n right n things. So, the number of ways of permutation number of permutations you know that is factorial n and some of the numbers d 1 to d n permuted in all ways. He has given that you know take this divide by n then uh, this take the sum of all the digits and that you know in all the places 1 plus etcetera 10 to the power of n minus 1. So, that is so that is essentially 1 1 1 1 etcetera n digits. So, that is the sum being repeated in the places of figures and added together. So, that is what is this thing. So, as you can understand it like this say d 1 to d n suppose you take d 1 alone you just take an in the sum uh, you uh, you take the sum arising out of d 1 alone. So, then d 1 is there at some place and uh, in factorial n minus cases d 1 is in units place. Okay. One, one, where is d 1 you see. So, one hour so that is all the others can be interchanged and you know permuted. So, factorial n minus 1 in factorial n minus 1 cases d 1 is in units place in factorial n minus 1 cases it is in tens place etcetera etcetera in all the places you know it is factorial n minus 1. So, thus the sum arising out of d 1 alone is this I mean if you take the d 1 and then sum, sum the effect you know whatever the due to d 1 in all the digits uh, the all the permutations arising then you get this. So, factorial n by n into d 1 into this similarly of course, it is true for all the other digits also. 
So, factorial n by n into d1 etcetera to dn into 1 plus etcetera 10 to the power pi minus 1. This of course is just 1 1 etcetera n digits number with 1 at each digit this is what he is saying. So, example he gives in 278 how many variations of number can be there with 8 digits 2 to 9 tell promptly the sum of these numbers. So, n is equal to 8 here d 1 plus etcetera d n is 2 plus etcetera 9 is equal to 44 okay. Number of permutations is factorial n is factorial 8 it is 40320. So, sum is given by this right factorial n by n into sum of digits into this n digit number with all ones. So, this is the sum of these numbers. So, now <coughs> the following problem in verse 269 involves only the permutations and not the sum of the numbers arising out of the permutations. Okay. It, it, may, it might have come earlier also, but somehow yes taken this problem here. Pashanku shahi namaruka kapala shulahi katwanga shakti shara chapa yutaihi bhavanti anyona hasta kalitaihi kati murti bedaha shamboho hare riva gadari saroja shankaihi. How many of the variations of the form of the god Shambhu by the exchange of his 10 attributes held reciprocally in his hands, several hands. So, he has 10 hands here namely the you know pasha rope ankusha the elephant hook okay ahi then the serpent damaru then kapala then shula etc you see dagger arrow bow okay uh, so that is and then as was a hari by the exchange of the mace that discussed the lotus and the conch hari is only 4 shambhu is 10 so factorial 10 and factorial 4 is the answer so, this is Shambhu Hari in combinatorics. So, seeing this title some people will squeal with delight and some people may be red with rage. <laughs> okay. Now, now he talks about when the numbers of subsets are alike. See, there is a very important thing he is doing. Um, this is the first time. In the next verse gives the numbers of permutations when the various subsets of the given set are alike. So, let there be n digits p of them are d 1, q of them are d 2, r of them are d 3 etcetera. You see. So, when we did these arrangements okay. So, we uh, uh, you know, almost assumed that you know uh, that uh, we took it for granted that all the digits are uh, distinct, but suppose they are one these things are you know same some 3 of them are the same. So, if you are rearrange them nothing new will come. So, we are over counting. So, we should avoid that. So, that is what he is saying. Yavat staneshu tulyankaha tat bhavaistu pratak prutaihi prag veda vikruta vetaha tat sanchai kemcha purvavat. The permutations found as before being divided by the permutation separately computed for as many places as are filled by like digits will be the variations of the number from which the sum of the numbers will be found as before. So, Essentially, he is saying that variation that the permutations will be factorial n divided by factorial p, factorial q, etc. You have to divide by the, the you know, if the subsets are there, you know, with uh, p which are alike, q which are you know alike, and so on, then you have to divide this factorial n by these things. Because when you permute among themselves, no new combination is going, no permutation is going to occur. So you have to to for correct counting you have to divide by them. This is the first first time it is being stated in Indian mathematics. The sum of the numbers is found as before. So, you have factorial n by n into factorial p etcetera the sum of the digits into this 111. So, that is the this permutations with like objects. So, then <coughs> the sum of all permuted numbers you can again check number of cases in which d 1 is in units or hundreds place is d 1 is assigned one place. So, then the other places are n minus 1. So, your n minus 1 factorial. So, then out of these q are alike etcetera r are alike. 
so you get this denominator factorial q etc and p minus 1 are alike one is already taken you know d1 is one of them so p minus 1 factorial is are alike so therefore because now after fixing one dn in a place the permutations of the rest of the p1 minus 1 d1 will not give rise to a new variation hence the factor factorial p1 in the denominator so some arising from d1 alone is factorial n minus 1 into d1 into all this divided by factorial p minus 1 into factorial q etc so similarly some arising out of d2 so factorial n minus 1 into d2 by this 1 plus this so sum of all the numbers you have to sum all these things so so you have d1 by p minus 1 factorial by q factorial q etc so finally you get a neat result factorial n by n into factorial p into factorial q etc pd1 plus qd2 plus etc into this so this is the sum of the digits so this is a new thing that he is doing you know that some of the subsets are alike you know identical so so example for instance it takes the case how many are the numbers with 2 2 1 1 so here you know the two subsets two of them are alike and here one and one and tell me quickly mathematician their sum also with 4 8 5 5 5 5 if thou be convergent with the rule of permutation of numbers so um number only is saying you know with the uh, i mean it doesn't have a distinct word number of cases you know uh how many you see that is all kanakash number is so he just tell the number there is all there is no separate uh, this thing but terminology for that so similarly I mean this example, for instance. So here it is four, so factorial four divided by the two sets of two each, so factorial two by factorial two six. So then you have to divide by four, and then you have to take, you know, two into two. There are two twos and two ones, so you have to multiply by this. So you get nine 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 nine. So similarly, if you have this. the number of ways is factorial 5 by factorial 3 see these are all these are distinct and these are three of them are alike so this is 4 into 5 20 and sum of all numbers is this okay then choice of or out of n again <coughs> permutation of n things taken or at a time so again he is restating these things which had been discussed earlier also How many are the variations of number with any digits except cipher? You exchange in six places of figures, so n is equal to nine or is equal to six. So the number of ways is this. Okay. See earlier it was basically combinations only he had discussed. The law of these things. So now he is talking the permutation. You know. So that is it. So there the order didn't import was not important here. order is important okay so now it is a very important very interesting um uh, problem he discusses so it perhaps the one of the advanced results in this uh, uh, work so let there be n digits the sum of which is s is equal to n plus m with m less than 9 so this restriction we will see why the restriction is put okay then rule is to discuss the number of possible permutations So that is stated in verse 274, 275. Nireka mankai ke mitam nireka sanant meka meka pachitam vibhaktam rupa dibhi sannito taihi samaha tu sankhya vibheda niyetenka yoge naman mita sthana ka sankhya kaya unenka yoge khatitam tu vedyam sankhipta muktam prudata bhayena nantosi yasmat kanitarna vasya. If the sum of the digits be determinate, the arithmetical series of numbers from one less than the sum of the digits, decreasing by unity, 
and continue to one less than the places being divided by one and so forth okay and the quotient being multiplied together the product will be equal to the variation of the number so the number of the digits is n the sum of the digits is s so you have to take s minus 1 up to there must be m uh, this thing you know <coughs> n places here one to sorry n minus 1 places okay decreasing by unity continue to one less than the places yeah that is the thing so number of uh, ways is uh, stated is this so which s is n plus m so i can write it as n plus m minus 1 factorial by factorial n into factorial m so this is a very how do we understand this so he doesn't give the proof but uh, we can visualize it like this see the digits are n okay so sum of the digits is m so s c is n plus m so these are number of digits so you have to so various permutations you have to this thing okay so now what you do is the e digit so that d1 to dn you can visualize it as if it is composed of you know you write one n once n of them and then you also write m of them okay so you can visualize the this uh, digital uh, this, uh, this uh, number as you know each digit composed of one one you see each digit one one and then some of these are attached to this kind of a thing okay and total is guaranteed to be n plus m so this can be done in several ways so that is what is being done did you get the point you see n plus m is a total number okay and you consider n plus m once so e digit you know it is not zero so 1 2 uh, 9, 9 8 9 kind of a thing okay 1 to this so then <coughs> total must come out to be each of them cannot be one so some of these things must be attached to each number so the total will come out to be n plus m so how many ways that is being done you see so that is what I have written here number x n to x n or d n or whatever you know can be written as this. So, 1 this upper index is coming from this n ones and the lower index is coming from the lower ones. So, 1 n 1 1 1 1 2 etcetera. So, each of the digits is composed of this 1 with an upper uh, index and several with uh, lower index. So, that this total of this is m ok. So, each of the digits has 1, 1R one and some 1S coming from M ones. So, while finding the number of A's, Xn has 1N, you see that by definition it has 1N, this can be fixed, okay, this is at one place. Then the number of A's is the one in which N plus these things, you see, this you keep it fixed and all of these, they can be permuted among themselves, okay, that is the number of A's number n plus m minus 1 objects because this is n minus 1 will be left here and m is there they can be permuted among themselves in which this n minus 1 objects are alive if you just permute themselves among their subset only in their subset then that will not give you a new this thing and similar this also will not give a new thing if you permute among m only. So, it has to be n plus m minus 1 factorial by factorial n minus 1 into factorial n. So, then, so, this will be the result s minus 1 into s minus 2. There are several ways of looking at it. So, <coughs> suppose you can also consider this you know that um, the each one of them can be represented by a partition, partition means I am calling a physical partition not a mathematical partition, physical partition and m 1s can be represented by x. Okay. So, you can write it like this there are n boxes you know there are n minus 1 partitions okay there are total n boxes and this crosses m crosses 
m crosses so then you permute this you know so the i th box you know see suppose you have the box i you have to put one one is there and the number of x's here you see so that will give the digit corresponding to the i th you know the i th digit it will give so that is what you do and then the number of permutations will be see you have to, you can permute all these things you can permute the permutation per this thing because this can be shifted you know see this both this can come here all the things can come here and like that you know the both this vertical line and the axis can be together they can be permuted but if you permute this partition themselves you will not get a new result new permutation similarly if you permute this alone you will not get a new permutation so you get number of permutations will be n plus 1 n minus 1 plus m factorial by factorial n minus 1 into factorial m is a little you know uh, <laughs> you have to think over it a little bit this is the result this is the desired result this essentially the way counting is done in both statistics where m identical objects are distributed among n energy levels okay suppose this n corresponds to energy levels and m objects are there then how many ways are doing it you know identical objects okay because m uh, energy uh, m is ident identical objects are there okay then how many this thing so here the, here of course i am not saying that everything is the same because here there is no restriction on m for both statistics there is no restriction on m it can be in fact for uh, for bosons it can be any this thing uh, number whereas for the fermi it can be only one zero or one kind of a thing <coughs> so that is the kind of thing you know which is done you know much uh, more long back and here you can understand the restriction on m so baskara himself is saying that m can shouldn't be less than 9 it can be 8 or lower because this digit you see can be 1 to 9 only and 1 is already there so only at the most you can add 8 you can't add 9 so because a one a single digit cannot have two these things you know 10 can't come so m has to be less than or equal to 8 or m is less than nine. so this is the thing so this is the really a very interesting result which is uh, there in uh, mm, baskaras leelavati so quite sophisticated isn't it considering it is in the 12th century so to be counting things like this and perhaps it is significant that both you know talked about this in the context of photons so that was always remarkable because both himself in 1924 when he did this counting even quantum mechanics fully had not developed okay and they had this planck uh, law they had derived it planck had given a law uh, he had derived it in some way and then einstein had derived it using the principle of detailed balance kind of a thing but it is both he said that you know radiation in an enclosure should be considered as a you know box of gas a gas of photons a gas of photons you know and you have to do the counting right so he did the counting right and you know actually the bose uh, uh, statistics you know is really a very wonderful thing and uh, it's significant that he did it uh, he did this comes from a tradition <laughs> of course he might not have we don't know the connection between him and uh, the older indian tradition but i'm saying that the counting is and why it is considered in lilavati also is because you know counting and this kind of manipulations are considered important and uh, these are particularly uh, uh, little difficult uh, or little advanced uh, topic in the counting for that time okay so there is another way of doing it also there are many other ways so these are all the mo modern methods you can say that you know suppose there are uh, n n is the number of digits right so you write this number x plus etc up to any number of uh, powers so n uh, products like this n factors and with the powers of x figuring in each factor all powers of x figuring in each factor the coefficient of xs in the project see this can be considered as you know n digits n uh, factors so essentially this what you are doing the number of uh, um ways in which uh, you get uh, the total uh, number total uh, sum as s with n factors so is x to the power of s in the product this you see 
x plus x x square etcetera up to the power of n go to the power of n. So, what is the coefficient of x to the power of s? So, that will be the actually the answer which can be written as x to the power of n into this 1 plus x etcetera whole square go to the power of n. So, which is x to the power of n you have already got. So, essentially coefficient of x to the power of s minus n in 1 minus x whole to the power of minus n this is because this is 1 minus x to the power of minus n. So, using the binomial theorem you get this which is under here. So, this is by far the what uh, you know Leelavati have uh, covered some important results covered in uh, Leelavati. The references are given here. Thank you.